Ladies and gentlemen, the first fight of the season just happened. Okay, let me not exaggerate. It's not fight. It was actually a heated altercation, of course. <laughs> nice. Oof. Oh my God. It just happened between Alex and Cece all the way from Double Waha last season. See, ladies and gentlemen, when I told you guys that these housemates have unfinished business, you probably did not take me serious. Guys, hey, hey, this morning, punches, slaps, rasbos would have been flying here and there. Wait, let me put this mic properly. This will not kill me. Guys, it was heated. I could feel the heat right here. I could feel the tension. It was insane. The old CC came out to play, guys. It was no jokes. And it might seem as though Alex has gone to the gym to go and, you know, flex muscles, to go and prepare herself for CC because <laughs> Alex too was not backing down. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex was not backing down. But Alex was the one that looked for trouble Shao. And I'm going to be spilling all the juicy tea on this particular episode of Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah. So please make sure you watch to the end of this video because it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. And Uriel was almost going to be a part of the equation. Mm. Uriel had to just maintain decorum. But you know what? Just watch this video to the end. Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah. And I am the girl with the tea. Oh my God, guys. I'm so excited. This tea is very spicy and hot. <laughs> but anyways, if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please go ahead. Do exactly what you see on your screen. Very important easy and absolutely free all right and of course i would love to hear your thoughts about this whole drama i will tell you everything that happened but i want you to judge for yourself tell me who you think was wrong and who you think triggered the other person all right quickly let's get into it the cause of the drama is of course about preparations for the housemates weekly wager task presentation and guys if you've been following what's been happening in the house if you've been following the events of this past few days you would see that the housemates have not really been doing a great job with this task i mean let's call it spade is spade now for the sake of mercy's fans who will come and say oh mercy said it mercy said it no this does not mean that Mercy is right. Mercy was too wrong for being rude and disrespectful to Adekunle, the head of house. However, this is to also say that Adekunle is not really doing so great as the head of house, in my frank opinion. Because one would expect that he calls for meetings, you know, from time to time with urgency with these housemates so that they will engage in very, very intense and effective conversations about the task. But what we've had so far in the house is that the task of coming up with the structure of the play, coming up with the script, the storyline, and everything about the play has been bestowed upon Alex, who says that she's got training in film production and um, I think directing and script writing and all whatnot. Yes, we're all aware that Alex is a writer. Yes. So Alex has been taking a lot of time. I mean, guys, if you ask me, I would say longer time than usual to come up with the structure of the play. Now, it is no easy task. Yes. And I'm not saying that Alex is not doing great. Alex has actually been doing a whole lot. In fact, yesterday, um, during Princess's birthday celebration in the house, Alex was busy writing. Adekule at some point went to work with her. In fact, from time to time, Adekule has been joining her to work together on the script. Perry as well would join her from time to time to keep her company, contribute um, points. Shay as well would join. I mean, just a few people have been, you know, going ahead to contribute. Whilst the rest of the housemates, they've been having fun. They've been eating. They've been whining. They've been dining. They've been playing. Now, the likes of CC has also been concerned about the progress that they've been making. So CC as well with um, Venita and Soma, sometimes they would, you know, go away and they would have conversations, you know, to see how they can contribute to the work. So it does not mean that um, Alex alone has been entirely, you know, doing all the work. But the thing is, each time one or two housemates goes to Adekunle to tell Adekunle that, listen, we need to call for a meeting. We need to have conversations. Adekunle will say they should wait, that Alex is yet to complete the script. Which for me, I felt like is a bad idea, guys. Now, last night, Venita had to go and meet them in the um, dressing room to tell them that, listen, we are wasting time. There's no time. Because guys, if you think about it, these housemates actually have only today 
and half of tomorrow to actually put together a solid play. Because if you all recall Big Brother's announcement to these housemates on Monday, okay, via the brief, of course, they are supposed to, um, you know, um, present a coordinated play, you know, as a, a dry run of the actual play that will be presented on Friday. Because some of the housemates that have actually read what Alex has put together have actually expressed concerns that, okay, it looks good, but it does not have like a solid structure that way. Now, the best bet is for them to bring what Alex has actually written. They should sit down. They should properly talk about it so that they are safe at the end of the week, so that they do not lose their wager. But guys, I feel like Adekule has just been dragging, you know, being slow. And if we're being frank about it, Adekule seems like he's trying so hard not to step on toes other than actually getting the job done. So I feel like at this point, he's actually failing in his role as the head of house. But anyways, the video is not about Adekule. It's night. They had had a meeting and just as expected, after going through Alex's work and I think what Adekule wrote, um, a lot of people had different opinions. And guys, it had kind of scattered the meeting. They did not make headways, like proper headways with the meeting. And that required them to go back to the drawing board to continue working on the structure of the play. And so they had gone ahead as well to submit a list of items that they would need as their costumes for the play. And that was when Big Brother had instructed Adekunle that he wants to see the two versions of the story that they had actually come up with. And so Adekunle had called the housemate, you know, to converge in the lounge in fact, before I even called them to converge in the lounge, Sissy had gone to go and express her concerns and her worries that, listen, they are actually slow with preparing for this play, for their presentation, that they need to do something. And the clearly, once again, was kind of dragging feet. But then, kind of reluctantly, he had gotten up and he had called the housemates for a meeting for them to continue their conversations and also, you know, rehearse the script. Now, Big Brother had called Adekunle into the dining room. That was when he had instructed Adekunle that he wanted to see the two versions that they have. Guys, at that point in time, Alex was not happy with this new development. For her, what happened last night, she was exhausted. Everybody was having fun. She was not having fun. She was working. And that was when she had actually named names. Oh, Tolani Badge, CC, Uriel that they were not contributing. This particular housemate, you know, every time they saw her working in the closet area of the house, instead of them to come and help, assist, bring contributions, they would just walk past, go to their to their um, closet, they would not say anything. And then last night when they had their deliberation session, they came, they watered down all our efforts, and then they did not contribute anything, instead they went to bed. Now, I understood Alex's pain. Alex was really pained. And you could tell, you know, by the emotions that she was expressing herself. At that point in time, Ural had to make a case for herself. She felt kind of attacked. And I loved the mature way that she responded to Alex. That Alex, listen, you are a creative, so you should know better. The fact that you put in all the work to do what you did, you know, create what you created, does not mean that I cannot have an opinion. I only expressed an opinion, but it does not mean that I am, you know, dismissing your work. But guys, at that point in time, Alex was not, you know, entertaining anything that Uriel was saying. For her, and even though you have an opinion at least, you should come up with something better. You should, you, you should, you know, bring your own suggestions to make the work better instead of just saying what you want to say and then going to sleep. Guys, at that point in time, Sissy had lost it. Now, Sissy had to make a case for herself that, no, you cannot say that I was not contributing because I was elsewhere contributing whilst you were where you were writing the script. But Alex's own bond of contention was Sissy should have come to her to come and assist, to come and contribute. Now, it was at that point that the last straw broke the camel's back. Sissy started raising her voice. Alex equally started raising her voice. For Sissy, she felt like Alex just wanted to attack her, but she had to go through Uriel. She had to include Uriel and Tolani Badge into the equation to come at her, that Alex should not try her. Alex, on the other hand, was really, really pained and was firing back at CC. And guys, they almost got physical, if not for some housemates that got in between them. At some point, it felt like Alex was now goading CC, asking her, oh, what will you do? Because CC was saying, don't provoke me. And Alex was like, oh, what will you do about it? And then she was following CC around. Thank God for Venita that got in the way. And that reminder that girl, you are being provocative right now. And that was when Alex went to go and sit down. Now guys, let's objectively look at this situation 
Now, we understand that these two women already have a history of beef from their season. Yes, we understand. And even though from time to time they exchange pleasantries, we know fully well that the beef has not been properly resolved. Yes, because during their altercation, they actually said things that referenced their past. Alex even went as far as saying that you think I'm afraid of you? You think I'm afraid of your Spartans? Even calling Sissy's fan base. And Sissy said, oh, is that what is paining you? But guys, let's look at the reality of the situation. Yes, I give it to Alex. Alex has put in a lot of work, has contributed greatly. But then the thing is, it does not mean that other housemates, because they did not come and sit down where she was writing, it does not mean that those people that were actually doing their own bits were not actually trying to do something. And I felt like that was where she was wrong. If we're being frank about it, calling Sissy's name, calling Uriel's name, guys, it just felt like she was kind of triggering something to happen yes because i understand she was kind of frustrated you know you do all of that work and um people make it look like what you did does not make sense but guys i felt like if she had actually generalized it without naming names like that it would have kind of you know prevented that situation from happening but the fact that she went ahead to mention cc's name someone that she obviously has a history with and it was it was a, a not so Someone that she has a not so pleasant history with, guys. I just felt like that was her gunning for a fight. I just felt like that was her stirring the pot for trouble. And Cece definitely delivered. So ladies and gentlemen, I would love to hear your thoughts about it. Who do you think is at fault here? Do you think Alex was right to have, you know, um, attacked Cece's... Do you think that Alex was right to have mentioned Cece's name and Uriel's names instead of mentioning the obvious other housemates that have not even been contributing anything at all or do you think cc overreacted guys go ahead and share with me your thoughts in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on another video bye